Philemon, intro and scripture. Author Paul, around 61 AD, during Paul's imprisonment in Rome. Content, forgiveness. Christians have all received forgiveness from God, and so we should forgive others as well. That is why Paul wrote to Philemon, a believer in the church at Colossae. Philemon saved a slave named Onesimus, who later fled from his master. Paul met up with Onesimus after he had fled, and Onesimus became a Christian. Then, Paul sent Onesimus back to his owner with a letter asking Philemon to be forgiven and to treat Onesimus like a brother in Christ. It is very likely that this letter was sent along with Paul's letter to the Colossians. Greetings from Paul. This letter is from Paul, a prisoner for preaching the good news about Christ Jesus, and from my brother Timothy. I am writing to Philemon, our beloved co-worker, and to our sister Aphia, and to our fellow soldier Archippus, and to the church that meets in your house. May God our Father and the Lord Christ give you grace and peace. Paul's Thanksgiving and Prayer I always thank my God when I pray for you, Philemon, because I keep hearing about your faith in the Lord Jesus and your love for all of God's people, and I am praying that you will put into action the generosity that comes from your faith as you understand and experience all the good things we have in Christ. Your love has given me much joy and comfort, my brother, for your kindness has often refreshed the hearts of God's people. Paul's Appeal for Onesimus That is why I am boldly asking a favor of you. I could demand it in the name of Christ because it is the right thing for you to do. But because of our love, I prefer simply to ask you. Consider this as a request from me, Paul, an old man and now a prisoner for the sake of Christ. I appeal to you to show kindness to my child Onesimus. I became his father in the faith while here in prison. Onesimus hasn't been of much use to you in the past, but now he is very useful to both of us. I am sending him back to you, and with him comes my own heart. I wanted to keep him here with me while I am in these chains for preaching the good news, and he would have helped me on your behalf. But I didn't want to do anything without your consent. I wanted you to help because you are willing, not because you were forced. It seems you lost once in must for a little while so that you could have him back forever. He is no longer like a slave to you. He is more than a slave, for he is a beloved brother, especially to me. Now he will mean much more to you, both as man and as brother. So if you consider me your partner, welcome him as you would welcome me. If he has wronged you in any way or owes you anything, charge it to me. I, Paul, write this with my own hand. I will repay it and I won't mention that you owe me your very soul. <laughs> yes, my brother, please do me this favor for the Lord's sake. Give me this encouragement in Christ. I am confident as I write this letter that you will do what I ask and even more. One more thing, please prepare a guest room for me, for I am hoping that God will answer your prayers and let me return to you soon. Paul's Final Greetings Epaphras, my fellow prisoner in Christ, sends you his greetings. So do Mark, Arichitas, Demas, and Luke, my co-workers. May the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ be with your spirit.